All right, at first glance, this question looks crazy. There's a lot of information. Where are we going to get started? Well, the main strategy for math is plug points into equations. So when in doubt, see if you can get back to that strategy. And because they told us it's a line, a linear model, we already have an equation to start. Y equals mx plus b. You might want to just start by writing that on your page. There are a lot of ways to deal with all the information they gave us, but I'm going to just go through what I think is like the least like clever way. Basically, just like if you were a robot and you were programmed to solve SAT questions, this might just be the best way to do it. Your programming is going to get you there. So we have this equation. Plug points into equations. Well, each of these little sets of numbers here is a point. So we can make it, um, we, can, we can just kind of think of it as uh, these three points. And because they already tell us that x is like the thousands of whatever it is, popular people, we can just stick with that to make it easier. And so y will be the year. So that might be a little backwards, and some of you might think of it, but that's okay. Uh, we, can, we can just deal with what we're given. Again, I want to be a robot here and be as simple as possible. So let's plug in 57 for x, and um, we have an m, and we have a b, we don't know, and then 1991 will be the y. Now, I didn't plug in 57,000 because I noticed that at the end, the x that I'm being asked for, the thousands is almost like more like a unit than it is the exact number. So I don't want to include a couple of extra zeros that I'm going to just need to delete at the end anyway. So just be careful here. They do this occasionally where when we have really big numbers, they kind of like change the scale of a graph or the units in a question so that we kind of like reduce the number. Like it still reads like millions or thousands, but it's, it's not that anymore. It's behaving like a smaller number. So that's what we're going to do here. The problem, though, with this equation is it has two missing pieces. There's an M and a B. And we can't solve equations. We have two missing parts. Some of you might adjust these points so that 1991 is behaving like a y-intercept. And that's very smart, but I don't, again, I don't want to be clever here. I just want to, like, be as dumb as possible. So if I don't know the B, the y-intercept, I don't know what's happening at year zero, right? Or, or when this population is zero, I don't know when that is. But I do know how to find the slope. Because y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 gives me the slope when I have two points. And they gave me two points to start. So I could just plug in very mindlessly what I was given. So let's do the green and the red. So 2011 minus 1991, those are my two y coordinates. And then 224 minus 57. So that's 20 on the top and 224 minus 57, regular old calculator is 167, and then we can do that, 20 divided by 167 is 0 0.11976, and it goes on, but I don't really care because at the end I'm going to have to round this thing anyway, so I'm just giving myself a couple of decimal points so that I, I'm really sure I'm getting where I need to be, but I'm probably even being a little too cautious here. You could probably round to like the nearest hundredth and be fine, but let's just do that. So now we have another piece that we can plug back into that original formula, right? So this slope can go in for this slope here. So let's change colors so we can kind of see better what's going to happen. 0 0.11976 times 57 plus b. Now we have an equation where only one variable is missing, one piece. So we can find that just by doing some algebra. So let's do 0 0.11976 times 57 and we get 1991 is equal to 6.82632 plus b. So I'm going to subtract uh, this number from both sides. So 1991 minus 6.82632. Uh, and we get that b is equal to 1984.17. So let's leave it at that. Okay. What this got for me is the overall equation for this line. It is now known that it is y equals, so the slope we said was 0 0.11976, the x is the variable, and the b is 1984.17. We could put that into Desmos if we wanted and continue the problem from there, but at this point, I'm just going to follow my original strategy, plug points into equations. We still have another point. We know the y coordinate at that point. We don't know the x, but we can solve it just by plugging it in. So let's get rid of this y here, and let's substitute in 2015. Now it's just a matter of doing some algebra. So minus 1984.17. Let's see what happens. 2015 minus 1984.17. We get 3. 
30.83 is equal to 0.11976x. Let's divide by 0.11976 to get x alone. 976. Oof, my handwriting is getting messy. So 30.83 divided by 0.11976 is 257.43. And they want this to the nearest whole number, so that is gonna be 257, which is the answer. I think that that's a lot of work, but it's mindless work. And so these are some of the trade-offs we need to think about as we're deciding the best path for certain questions. Sometimes mindless is good. We're just kind of going through the motions of algebra, plugging things in the calculator. And some of these steps that I did here, I could have done maybe a little faster in Desmos without having to do all that writing down of the decimals. And, and, and I still think I could have played it a little safer uh, or uh, played it a little quicker and shortened those decimals when I was doing all that division earlier. But, you know, it's, it's your choice and just be careful, you know, the more you round at the beginning of the of any process, the, the, the more it might be off at the end. But um, comment in the, in the video if you think you have a better way, a faster way. Uh, like I said, there are other ways to still use y equals mx plus b by manipulating the data and thinking about a y-intercept in a much simpler way. Those are really great, but I do think that if you're looking to just get through something like this, that mindless is good. And plug points into equations is the most mindless strategy, which is great for us because then we just have to memorize maybe a few equations to bring in occasionally. Uh, but then it's just plugging points in and going through the motions of algebra. And if you can get it right that way, that's great. This is a kind of hard question and it's a worthy 10 points you've earned if you've gotten it right.